Will your child get the same level of support with fewer teachers in the classroom? No. 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 How will your child with special needs cope when the number of educational assistants is reduced? Yeah. The province announced this week it was spending $550 million to build and modernize, modernize 35 schools. We, we can all agree that the money invested in these schools is much needed and long overdue, but it leads to more questions. Will schools, old or new, receive the care and maintenance required if there are fewer maintenance and support staff? No. Will your child continue to be safe in schools with less staff? No. Will schools be able to continue offering students a warm and welcoming atmosphere, one in which they are inspired to learn? No. I can assure you that Edmonton public teachers will continue to deliver their very best. But again, there are questions. And to maintain the status quo, but this budget doesn't allow for that. It doesn't allow for your class sizes to stay the same as they are. It doesn't allow for the educational assistants to be in that same classroom where they may have been last year. 65 educational assistant positions, so that could be hundreds of staff, will be impacted by this next budget in Edmonton Public. That could be hundreds of children or thousands of children, and that's wrong. We know that it's important to make sure that we have supports in the classroom, especially for moving towards inclusion. And we think that that's right. We want to make sure that children are supported and teachers are supported so all children can succeed in our schools. And uh, thanks again to the parents of Hollywood. Thanks to all of the children of Hollywood, everyone who's wearing a sign today. And um, we are the future. You're right. You are worth investing in. Education is your right. And uh, we need to make sure that everybody behind here knows that. So thank you. It's a real pleasure to see elected school board trustees with the parents today advocating for public school funding that meets the needs not only of kindergarten, but elementary, junior high, and high school and special needs students. Last Wednesday was a very unusual day. We saw on one hand Edmonton Public having to deliver bad news because of a bad provincial education budget where there's teacher layoffs potentially in September but at the same time the government found 550 million dollars that wasn't in the budget we debated this spring to build and renovate 35 schools that money is needed certainly to build and renovate schools because we're expecting an additional 100,000 students in the system in the next 10 years. We should be planning properly for those 100,000 students and we shouldn't be laying off any teachers and we shouldn't be ignoring the Learning Commission from 2003. parents, children, uh, support workers, teachers, advocates, all of you who've come out here today to show how much you care, you care about our public education. Give yourselves a hand. Now we've had a lot of people from around Edmonton who are here today, a wonderful crowd, but as I left the office on uh, Friday, I discovered a big envelope that had been delivered to my desk, which are about 200 individually written letters from parents in Canmore who are concerned about what the cuts are going to do. letters by concerned parents and they talked about how if their class sizes were too big how their teachers would not be able to work 
well, they would work very hard and continue to work very hard, but they would not be able to give that special attention to all the kids and that the parents would go back to the way it was in the early 90s, teaching their kids at home at night because the class sizes were too big and the teachers, try as they might, simply could not meet every child's needs in these hard, large classrooms. They talked about uh, the loss of of special needs assistance in the classroom. I had one parent who wrote about how her particular child was going to suffer because there would be no aid in their classroom next year. And they talked about how their kids might get sick and how they might be exposed to infections because there was going to be cuts in the janitorial staff and the cleaning and the and the work and the maintenance around those schools every day and they talked about how they were worried about that each story each handwritten story 200 of them from one town in alberta and this is what this government has caused this is what it's creating it's going to hurt our kids that's what it comes down to. They've made decisions that are going to hurt our kids. Is that acceptable? No! Let the people see.